Hey everybody, it's Eric. It is Friday. You know this because I've got one of my favorite red swag, Red Friday shirts on. Speaking of Red Friday, look, we got all sorts of stuff here. Low rates. I think I'm still on the camera. I don't know. We got red hats. We got other red shirts. Look for a video that's on our YouTube page or will be shortly where we're going to show you how you can get your own LVR Red Friday swag sent right to your home and you can do the same thing we do and that is support your military every Friday by wearing red and remembering everyone deployed. Today we're going to talk about escrow, what it is and how it works, okay? So, escrow, what and how. That's what we're talking about today. Um, look, during the mortgage process, you might hear your loan officer talk to you about an escrow refund or what is your escrow payment. If, if you've already owned a home, then you probably are familiar with this word. But unless you're a mortgage pro, like we are here at Low VA Rates and like most of our watchers are, what do I mean by watchers? Our subscribers to YouTube and those that really focus on our videos. Unless you're one of these pros, you may not be quite experienced enough to know exactly what escrow is, what it's there for, and what it means, so don't worry. We got you covered. We're gonna explain all of that today in this short little video, and once you've watched it, you'll actually know how it works, and you'll be prepared when you get your own loan, or if you already have a loan, you'll just be, you'll just be smarter about it. So let's start with the what. What is escrow? Well, in its most simple, direct answer, escrow refers to a type of financial account that holds money, okay? It's an account to hold money. That's your escrow account, right? In a mortgage, the money that's held in your escrow account is generally used for your homeowner's insurance and your property taxes, okay? We're gonna write up homeowner's insurance and property taxes here in a minute. Now, why does this matter? Why does escrow matter? Well, look, if you're like a normal homeowner, it's very easy to forget every single month to save money, which could often be tens of thousands of dollars depending on what state you live in. You Texas homeowners know what I'm talking about. If you don't put away money every single month to pay your property tax and your insurance bills when they come due, you're gonna be in a lot of trouble because it's very easy to forget not only when they're due, but they can also be very expensive and that can be problematic. So the escrow account helps you by making these categories your insurance, okay? Your insurance and your taxes. By taking your annual insurance and your annual taxes, dividing them by 12, and adding that amount of money into your monthly payment, now it's no longer your responsibility to remember when they're due or to pay them. Your lender's now in charge of following these due dates and the total amounts that are due and you don't have to worry about it anymore, okay? So lenders tend to be very, very motivated to remember when these things are due, because if they don't, a lien could go on the property, and that's never a good thing, or your insurance lapses, and no lender that's lent you hundreds of thousands of dollars wants to know that the property that they're holding as collateral doesn't have insurance on it, okay? So your escrow account is simply your insurance and your taxes every single month going into an account, being saved there until each of those payments comes due. Now, how does it work? Okay, we're gonna go into how the escrow account works, even though I got into that a little bit right, right there. Um, when you close your home loan, part of the closing costs that are included in your, in your loan balance are your escrow, it basically is enough money to set up your escrow account, enough to put in your taxes and your insurance. So every month after that, once your mortgage payment becomes due, you're adding to that every single month. So you've got your initial deposit into your escrow account, and then every single month on top of that, you start adding to it. Now, what does your mortgage payment consist of? You've probably heard PITI. I'm pretty sure we've got some videos out there on the World Wide Web somewhere about PITI, which is principal, interest, and then today we're talking about taxes and insurance, okay? Your total monthly payment is principal, interest, taxes, insurance. Those last two, taxes and insurance, well, that's what's getting held into the escrow account every single month. So you make your payment to your lender, the lender splits your payment up, the principal goes to paying your balance down, 
the interest goes to paying the lender. Okay, that's where the lender makes money. And then the taxes and insurance, that's your money, but the lender gets to hold it in one safe, secure place called your escrow account. And they do this every single month until one of these two payments comes due. And in some states, it's not due just once a year. There are states where taxes are due twice a year. Some states where they're even due quarterly. Again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to follow up with all of that. Your lender or your servicer, whoever you're making payments to every single month, will pay your taxes when due and they'll pay your insurance when due and they're not gonna call you up on the phone and say, send me that money. If done correctly, it's already gonna be sitting there in your escrow account. So while escrow accounts can at first seem somewhat confusing, it's actually super helpful to make sure you've got an escrow account set up. We have veterans ask us all the time, well, can I set up my new loan without an escrow account? I'm responsible. I wanna pay my own insurance. I wanna pay my own taxes. And we tell them no. We tell them no because it's not worth the risk. We've seen real nightmares where people allow their insurance to lapse or they forget to pay their taxes. Boom, the tax lien takes priority over your mortgage. You could lose your house. Last thing I wanna say about the escrow, if you're looking to do a refinance right now, EARL or cash out, we have talked about how at the time of a refinance, you could potentially get a large escrow refund. So all that money that's going in for taxes and insurance every single month, since on your new loan with us, we have to set you up a new escrow account. Just a little plug here for refinancing right now. We're gonna have a new escrow account set up for you. Your old lender that's holding all this money that you've been putting in there every single year, they're gonna refund that to you. You're gonna get a nice check in the mail about 15 to 30 days after you close your loan with low VA rates. That's all I've got today on how the escrow account works and what it is. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next Friday.